Hey kids, welcome to the updated 2024 Create Task Walkthrough. This year, we're breaking the task into two videos. In this video, we will dive into the changes for this year and the requirements for your digital portfolio submission, which include the app requirements. The second video will focus on the new written response you'll have to do during the exam. But first, let's understand what the Create Task is all about. It is your chance to show the AP College Board what you've learned this year, specifically your amazing coding skills. The Create Task accounts for 30% of your total AP grade. The remaining 70% comes from the multiple choice exam in May. The Create Task itself is graded on a six point scale. Two points allocated for the program code and the video, which we'll discuss today, and four points for answering prompts during the exam, which we'll cover in the next video. Now, before we continue, a word of caution. Significant changes have been made for the 2024 Create Task. Be very wary of any older videos, as they'll probably contain outdated information. Why this sudden change? Well, AP didn't appreciate how easily AI could generate written responses, so they've moved that part to the day of the exam now. So what exactly has changed? The biggest shift is a written response now happening the day of the exam. Students will have one hour after the multiple choice exam to answer four questions in the following categories program design function and purpose, algorithmic development, errors in testing, and finally, data and procedural abstraction. That's what's changing. Is there anything that stays the same? A lot of what you have to do remains unchanged from previous years. You still build an app and submit several items to your digital portfolio. Remember, your digital portfolio is different from AP Classroom. They are separate websites. Make sure you're on the right one. It should look like this. Once inside your digital portfolio, you'll submit three components, a video, your program code, and the personalized project reference or PPR. Before we delve deeper into each component, let's look at the documents I'm going to reference. One, is going to be the APCSP student handout. Make sure it's effective fall 2023. The APCSP exam and course description. Again, make sure it's effective fall 2023. The rubric part one. The rubric part two. In this spreadsheet that I developed, which will be linked down in the description. Let's take a look at the rubric for a second. This is really key to understanding the create task. The task is graded on six points or one point per row. This video is gonna cover the first two. Row one is the video. Row two deals with the app requirements. This is where we find out what you need to code. Look here. It says you need a list or library in sequencing, selection, and iteration. Sequencing is just a function, something that goes step by step by step. Selection is an if else statement. And iteration is just a for loop. I do wanna note that it says you do not need a parameter to earn a point in this row, but you will need one in a future row. So it's best to include one in your main function. Attached to page one on the rubric is also row three, which deals with the written response specific to the video. Again, we'll cover that in the next video. Back to the three components to your digital portfolio. Let's start with the video. You'll need to submit a video no more than one minute long and less than 30 megabytes. The video should focus on the program running, not the code. What should you show? You should show the input and output of your app. Next up, this is a PDF of the entire code. 
make sure it's legible. This part of the code can have comments. Your code needs to have a list. You need sequencing, which is a function that also needs to include a parameter. That function needs to iterate through a list using a for statement. And finally, you need selection, which is an if and else statement. That is it. No more, no less. Please keep it simple. AP is looking for you to satisfy these requirements, not dazzle them with your amazing coding skills. That is the major requirements for the app. Finally, we have the personalized project reference. These are code segments that you're going to submit to your digital portfolio. The actual segments remain largely unchanged as well. There's four of them. You need to paste where your list is being created and where your list is being processed or used. If you have multiple lists or libraries, you only need to paste one. The AP reader can only take into account the first list. Do not paste your entire code either. Just paste the list being created and the second one is the list being processed or used. The next two code segments deal with a function. Remember, this function needs a parameter. This function needs to go through the list of above, and then it needs an if else statement. Finally, you need to paste where in your code that function is being called. A real important note here, these code segments should not contain any comments any comments, and you'll likely not get scored for these four points. And before the exam, that's all you have to submit right now. The next video will cover the written response on exam day. Please remember, keep it simple and stick to the important parts of the app. What are the two main parts? You need a list and a function. Remember, you need sequencing, which is a function. Do not forget to include a parameter. You need iteration, which is processing a list through a for loop. And finally, you need selection, which is an if else statement. Finally, please do not forget submissions must be in by 1159. AP doesn't accept late submissions. Check the date on AP's website. Do not rely on this video. Well, that's it for now, kids. Good luck, and I'm going to see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, 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 bye.